Okay. So Stanley, um, from your talk, um, I wonder if you can tell us what can insurance marketers learn from consumer product brands like you talked about, like Nike, um, about building an emotional connection with their brands? Hi. Um, uh, simplicity of story. So, you know, all consumers, do, if uh, insurance or whatever it is, they want a simple story. They want to know what's in it for me and how, you know, how can it be relevant to my life. And so insurance, of course, is uh, very relevant to your life. And um, um, But how can you make it, um, you know, not boring? How can you make it interesting and compelling, something I want to uh, read and not, not too many layers? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you talked about brands, great brands like Harley Davidson. You say um, often they're adopted by the consumer, like mm -hmm. the Nike shoes, and uh, that, and then you can learn from the consumer. So how do you think insurance marketer could look for ways to learn from the consumer? Uh, insurance marketers can learn from consumers. Um, well, you know, just understand. I think you know one thing that we do is as designers are um, some of the creatives or marketers are some of the most strategic people that I've ever met and um, so what we, we do is you know we look at problems and we dissect them and we you know, we look through um, you know why why this and why that and we're basically you know, we're anthropologists and we're you know marketers we're all those things combined and so I think uh, what we can do is look at consumer behaviors and what mm -hmm. they really need um, you know, great brands create things that consumers don't even know that they need yet. Mm -hmm. So that's what great products are. Sometimes are things that come out and that um, that provide something that hasn't ever existed before. And, mm -hmm. and whether it's a financial service or or an insurance plan or whatever it is, um, uh, that's something that we can all learn uh, mm -hmm. by observing our our, our customers um, mm -hmm. what they need. Okay. And just one more question: What's the best way to gather that tribal knowledge that you talked about? Um, from the higher ups, the VPs types. Yeah, it's really engaging them in uh, in conversation, and, and a lot of times they they respond really well to what is and what isn't. You know, what is, the, what is your brand and what isn't your brand? Because it's hard for them when you just ask them, you know, what you know what is the brand, and they, it's hard for them to articulate that. And so, mm -hmm. so it's going through that exercise of 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 uh, looking at things. That's why, like I mentioned, putting a lot of the brand stuff out on a table. And or on a wall or on a website and saying, let's look at this and feel, see what feels right for the brand. And so we start honing in on it and then let's talk about specifically why this feels right for the brand. And you can't say words like, I like it or I don't like it. It has to be, you know, have to be descriptive words so mm -hmm. that, we can all, that we can start using as a common language. Great, thank you.